This could be our last goodbye, our last goodbye, she never told me why. This could be our last goodbye, oh I won't meet again. We watched her breathing through the night, through the night with a candle burning bright. She couldn't get to sleep that night, she won't have that problem anymore. My bathroom looks like a crime scene now, blood on the floor and the walls in the loo. Let's hope they never find her body or I'll be a dead woman too. Last time on Deceiver of Fools, Vaughn prattled on about something and tried to gaslight Elibrius some more. Caleb exposited his backstory and apparently Elibrius is his maternal grandfather. Caleb tried to set Elibrius and Akuma up and, like everyone else, doesn't believe that anyone, I mean Elibrius, could really love Akuma. Basically, if Elibrius leaves Akuma alone, Vaughn gets to use her for her power, kind of like Doral wanted to in the pilot. But if he loves her and mates with her, Vaughn doesn't. It's really stupid. Also, Caleb is a prostitute because apparently in Vaughn's circle, people would pay a million dollars to sleep with a squeaky giant. No, literally, a million dollars. Also, Yusaji is from the most what-the-fuck orphanage ever. Elibris's high priestess Desmoda Grace offered to buy Caleb. Honestly, what? Instead of just smuggling him to another area, getting him into the demon protection program, or finding him a temporary convenience mate or something that makes sense. Ori had a good suggestion, but everyone ignored him. Elibris also implied faking Caleb's death, but it was shot down. And then Caleb was like, I wasn't her friend! I ripped her wings off at my mother's command! And then Libris was like, Then why do you care so much now? Because your life is ending? Yeah, it's unlikely, but try to enjoy the show. No, I care because for the first time, I'm acting of my own free will. <sighs> It's October, nearly November. Five months till April. Yes, we can all tell time. Thank you. That gives us some time. We need to get that money to you somehow, so that when you go back to selling yourself on the street, you will have a highest bidder who can take care of you in a manner you deserve. Oh, I see. So your plan is to get him a sugar daddy. I won't be on the streets. I... No. It's better you don't know my pain. Biblically? Suddenly, masochism! Tell so, Akuma I am sorry about the wings! Will you be auctioned again? Arms. Oh. Yeah, but please don't pity me! I'll be kept downstairs in the party chambers! of pity is active for having to memorize all these fucked how delicious lines. Oh yes, and I'm certain I don't need to tell you that you're goddamn lucky we were able to regenerate her wings. Especially as you got the spell from someone who claims to be descended from Zeus. <laughs> I'd like to see a paternity test either way. Who do you think I was planning to sell Caleb to after we bought him? You're smarter than the average zombie. I take offense to half of the people in this room. You're kidding me, there's a PC term for zombie? But that's too broad. It also covers vampires, nobodies, ghosts, gravelings, and other forms of undead beings. Hey, I take offense to the word broad. Bloodkin or not, I'd have at least tried to kill you if it had been otherwise. Yes, yes, we know. Flesh is weak. 
blood is cheap, inconsistent, consistently. I should have died! I would have loved for you to kill me! Yes, I would have loved that too. If you will be auctioned, then there will be someone to bid for you. $366 million a year for 50 years. I still say you should just throw the money into the ocean for old Caleb's wear. Just have someone slit my throat! You'll get no argument from me there. You would be more merciful that way. On second thought. Slit your own goddamn throat if that's how you feel then. Better yet your mother's. I can't! Epiphany, can you write me a prescription for some sort of substance that's lethal when OD'd? He has to stay alive for at least a year. It's in his contract. Damn it! Is OVD sure about that no murder rule? The contract could be lost in a fire. They're fireproof. We've got at least two of this lot with fire magic and another two with lighter, so it's a given. Oh, damn it! After the first time I tried, don't you think my mother found a way around that? His mother wrote his contract, didn't she? I'm not at liberty to discuss that. Enough. Pumpkin Starling will buy you if she's still alive by then. No, don't kill Desmoda. She's one of the few of you lot that I can stand. Yes, sir. Is a coma in any condition to speak? When is she not in a good enough condition to move her mouth? One does not need to be able to speak to put one's mouth to work. And there's always sign language. I sent her home when I saw what was happening here. Meaning what, precisely? I can break a bond by making someone doubt it, which is what he was trying to do. Oh, lovely. This show is based on believing in yourself and the power of love. Oh, it's based on that too, but just listen to the shitty dialogue. It's our job. We're commentary. It wouldn't have worked. I'm very strong-willed. I believe in my love for her, and nobody can sabotage that belief. Will you please stop with the Disney dialogue? No. Being the least popular of Malime, I have been the target of some rather unsavory spells. Being a lover of pranks, I've been the perpetuator of such as well. After one has lived as long as I have lived, one becomes rather intimately acquainted with one's own emotions. I suppose all that was just a fancy way of saying that I'm impervious to love spells. Whereas I'm just plain impervious to love, I can tell we'll get along famously. His brain cells are committing suicide from talking to all the Cory Sues. It's possible that he means that because of the thousands of years he spent being the butt of pranks, the most popular of which were love spells, he developed immunity to them. Also, he's very in touch with his own emotions and knows enough to know when he's feeling something that isn't real. Good! As long as I know you will protect her! My arm is almost healed now! Damn that hurt! What did he do? Tried to yank me around the room and throw my arm. It felt like several times, but I didn't check and let my healing kick in. You're a dumb shit. Quick, let's get the sledgehammer. Bastard. I've had worse. Just... Didn't say you didn't. Rage quit! Why am I suddenly very fatigued? Well, Cory has a natural talent for sucking the life energy out of a room. Lee! Akuma's back! I'm fine too! Who gives a fuck? Why are we shouting? Are you okay? I'll be fine once you leave the room again! I haven't got a bloody clue! 
Because it scares away the dust bunnies? I'll be alright once I know that she's back to her old self. I'm glad you're alright. Remember when I said I thought we'd get along famously? I don't think we'll be having that talk again. I was a bit concerned when I heard she'd left you. <laughs> well, she's sleeping. She seems to be hurt pretty bad. It's official, ladies and gentlemen. The grammar fairy has left the set. I'm fine. All you out there in the audience, raise your hands if you heard anyone actually ask about her. No? No one? That's what I thought. Carry on, then. I am more worried about her. Yeah, so am I. Susley. Except for Alibrius and Caleb, does anyone really care? I sure as hell don't. I'd say Rosemary might, but she's insane. Good to hear it. Welcome back, Cory. Thanks! Bastion told Lee that he'd been talking to you, and the first thing Lee asked was, how's Akuma? Well, Cory, how much do you know about Akuma's culture? Are you kidding? She wrote the book. Literally. I can look at her book! See? Lee? Akuma says hi! Hello. I'm sorry! Dot dot dot! For everything! Dot 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 space dot! E! Dot dot dot! Grandfather! Dot dot dot! Thanks! Dot dot dot! For trying! Dot dot dot! Can I get my scythe out now, please? It's in the script. <sighs> We'll set up a conference between you and the writer of Caleb's lines, uh, Ms. Mrs. Cory Railroads. Bloody hell, are you fucking serious, OVD? Sadly, yes. Who was that? Caleb, long story. Oh, okay. They had an Adams Family movie marathon on ABC Family earlier. I'm sure it was much more entertaining than this. Ding dong! Fucking slave! We will finish this later, Mr. Falcon! Go fuck yourself, Vaughn. And I mean that in the nicest possible way. That's what I have Caleb for. And trust me, he will feel my anger for a long time. If he... Oh, baby! Bite me. Is anger code for cock? I hope not, seeing as Alivriot is clearly angry and wants Vaughn to bite him. Leave him alone, bastard! Which one of us are you talking to? HIM! Then I second that. Third. Fourth. Put that way, I have to say I sixth it. Sorry, Mr. Falcon. Your grandson will never see the light of day again. I'm stealing your M&Ms! What are you going to do, crash an iceberg into him? Why lie? You're not sorry. Vaughn! Can you show me? It's in these times I wish I knew what she was saying. According to translation party, she said, Shrine our building, radio station about us, whatever that means. I didn't know we were in a radio tower. We're not. Then whatever she's on, I'll take two of them. Nana, Aku, Ikmo, Bukan, Kamak, Laura, Vagyok, Ox. Fine. If Vu can find the brat, Vu can keep him. Do 
Do we get treasure maps? How big are the teams? Rage quit! He's not a brat. Wee! Someone needs to find him! Akuma, please! You're hurt! I'm aware. What do you suggest? Can you find him? I can't go! Usagi, check Peru Village. Pumpkin, check Esme. Fennel, check Elsie. Akuma, please lay down! You're still bleeding! Well, the vampire who was just here could have taken care of that. And now we'll check Ivanis. Kimmy will search here! Lorleo should check no Ariane. I will have Kimmy streak search all of the earth, okay? He's gonna dump him somewhere! Yeah, this is the definition of a villain, Sue. Well, you can use both of them for target practice. Have fun! Good thinking. Akuma, please! Lay back down! I'm fine! Stop bugging me! Lay your head down and sleep on my shoulder. Lay your head down and start a new dream. And for tonight, the moment is over. Drift in a lullaby, hear where the stars reside. And angels are always seen. Lay your head down, the stars they have whispered. Hear what they say, and know that it means. The moon is your guide, the stars they have kissed her. As she goes gently by, light has a baby sigh, safe on a fairy tale stream, and start a new dream. Couldn't we have just cued music for a final dream? Thank you, Lee. <laughs> Seriously, we should have just cued music. They gave me a reason to do my taxes. Donkeys do taxes? Oh god, Lee, what happened to her? Just now. Oh, of course not. You must mean why is she in such terrible shape? Yeah, I think she's getting wasted. Akum and Orion had it out. God, Lee, she's hurt everywhere. So... Press her out of her misery. I know. I gave her some of my own power before she left in the hopes that it would help her. Lee, there are bite marks all over her neck. I suppose there might be. Just be glad she wasn't on a cycle. What did he do to her? He didn't! Well, Caleb gave me a play-by-play -play earlier. If we're on the same wavelength, he did. Dude, seriously. What are you asking me then? Did he what? I will tell you the truth, nothing less. Ow! Headache! And where were you? You said you would help her! Why didn't you do anything? I was told not to interfere. I gave her my power before the battle started. I held off Orion as long as I could with a distraction. Yes, I'm sure he loves playing with tinfoil. That's not good enough! Nothing's ever good enough for you, is it, fucking diva? When I heard that Akuma was worse off in the battle... It's okay to say she's a big fat loser. I told Vaughn to go to Celestia and get Fiorione. That would be in Libris' halberd. 
to give the halberd to Akuma. He refused. That might have something to do with the fact that he can't actually enter Celestia. No one deserves that, Lee! No one! You do, but sadly, no one other than your husband, who obviously has some sort of strange fetish or other mental damage, would touch you. Despite the fact that you like to swear people to secrecy and then tell them you were gang raped when you were 14 on your way home from school. That's a really low way to get sympathy, by the way. It's insulting to people who actually have gone through that. And yet you just... I'm sorry. I just... Godly. What am I going to do? Shut the fuck up and listen to me. I didn't know what to do. I did everything that I could, and I know it wasn't good enough. I know that she deserves better. How deeply have you been brainwashed? If I could have gone down there and killed the bastard myself, I would have. I would have done it long before now. As for what to do, make sure she gets better. She won the battle. Though she took quite a blow, she's still alive. And, if she does not heal, I will hold you responsible. Understood? Okay. She is so weak. Can I... Move her closer to your bond? It might help. Don't ask, just do it. Okay, give me a minute. Lee, she's awake again and wants to talk to you for a minute. If that minute is as short as the minute it took for you to get back to him, I say go for it. Though judging by how much she loves to run her mouth, I doubt it. Alright. Rage quit! Ding dong! What did she just call him? How are you feeling? Like shit! What a coincidence! You look it too! I'm glad to see the battle hasn't affected your personality. No, but trust me, it derails painfully over the next year or so. I was more worried about you and Cory! Wow, you and Cory just love to play the master card, don't you? Suddenly, I have a horrible image of a double-ended strap on in my head. Are you well enough to speak in detail about something? Sure! Corey's giving me a boost using her bomb! Besides, she's always up for talking in detail about anything concerning herself. Good. Caleb told me that when his time with Vaughn was up, Vaughn was going to try to choose you as his new mate. Caleb made me promise that I'd perform a ritual in zero bonding between you and me. If I'm to follow through on that promise, I need to know how to go through with the ritual. Mm, Twenty bucks says it involves sexual intercourse and simultaneous orgasms. Not if one of them fakes it. We share energy and a deeper bond, most of which you have done! Once I feel better, I'll give you some of mine! I'll make a better bond, okay? Caleb says the bond was similar to a human marriage and that it would prevent Vaughn from taking you as his mate. I need a bond that guarantees that one thing. What is that? Wow, someone has poor listening skills. Let me start from the top. Caleb wanted me to protect you. I asked him how. He said that to prevent Vaughn from taking you as his mate, I had to perform a bonding ritual with you that would prevent anyone from touching you without my permission. Good. Oh, and Vaughn was trying to break the bond we have now by making me doubt that my emotions were true. Bastard. Vaughn wasn't the best choice, but at the time he was the only choice! Have you considered online dating? is apparently my grandson. What? No! Caleb is a battle demon! Unless he was lying to me. He was probably lying to you. Did he say anything before he told you that? He said
said that his homeland is Celestia, that his mother had fled the land when he was young. His mother had been prostituting him to live a comfortable life. He's bound to Earth, and his mateship with Vaughn was arranged by his mother. His mother changed her name to Augusta, no surname given, but he is who he says he is. His mother is Peppercorn Hart, one of my two daughters by Ambrina Hart. No, I mean, to prove he wasn't lying. He has something he always says. I want to know if he said anything strange. He said, listen, I'm going to take off my mask, okay? And all the cards are on the table, deal. And he was honor bound to tell you the truth! And I'm a Mafia Don! Do you see why I don't want to bother any more children? Look how my own daughters and their families turned out, and my sons aren't much better. <laughs> Can't say I disagree. I don't think Foxglove's half of the family turned out too bad. They married into courtierhood. They're unscrupulous bitches like Caleb's mother. ARF! Yes, but at least they married well, and apparently that's what matters. Please don't! Please don't what? Change the subject so that it's no longer all about you? Caleb has had a worse life than mine! Please don't judge him too harshly! Tell him to take some fuckatole and get over it. I'm not judging Caleb. I'm judging his mother. I'm hungry. If I had known that it was his mother, then I would have ripped her black heart out of where she stood that night! I agree. It's a terrible thing to say about my own daughter, but I agree. She's the reason your wings were stolen. And how will they react in fear? In the manner of a waterfall. No, in the manner of Sparta! Let's 